Hello everyone, my name is Ubaidullah. I am a software engineer at Rapscode. Today I am going to talk about enhancing Kafka data streams with schema registry using QDB and how it improves produce and consume messages into Kafka. So I am going to discuss these contents during my webinar. First, what Kafka schema registry is. Then I will talk about some little uh, Kafka schema registry architecture. After that, I will talk about how Kafka schema registry provision in Kubernetes uh, using our KubeDB. After that, there will be a live demo. And then we will discuss our upcoming features. And then there will be question and answer sessions. Okay, let's go to our slide. What is Kafka schema registry? It is an interlayer between the Kafka broker and the client's consumer and producer. It provides a centralized repository for managing and validating schemas for topic message data and for serialization and deserialization of the data over the network. It also provides several benefits like data validation, compatibility checking, and versioning. It has several compatibility. If any schema version changes, producer or consumer can still produce or consume messages with no issues with this compatibility rules. Okay, then one important point, it stores not only current schema, but also inter history of the schema changes. Okay, it also reduces the risk of data compatibility issues, data corruption and data loss. Okay, now our Kafka schema registry architecture. Let's assume we have a schema registry cluster and our Kafka cluster. And we want to produce some messages to Kafka using our using some schema. So schema can be auto type or proto of type or JSON type. It can be any of three. Okay. Any producer want to uh, produce some message to Kafka using the schema. The producer will request with this schema. Then the schema will be uh, try to find in our local cache. It is still available or not. If the schema is not available in our local cache. So it will start in our schema registry. So if the schema registry is available for this schema, the schema registry will return the schema. Otherwise, if uh, schema is not available in the schema registry, producer will register the schema with some API of schema registry and returns the schema. After that, producer will uh, serialize the uh, message with the schema or uh, some serialization of type or protocol type or JSON type. Uh, what serialization is? Serialization is something that converts your message into byte stream. So a producer then serializes the data with schema and the produce the byte stream into a Kafka. And after that, an end consumer want to consume some mess that message with the schema. Then the consumer will request uh, to Kafka that he he want to consume the message with this schema. Then the same schema will be want to find in our local cache if the schema is found there. So uh, directly the local cache will return the schema. Uh, otherwise the uh, consumer will search in our schema registry that the schema is available or not. If the schema is available, uh, then the consumer will deserialize that message with the schema. Yeah, it can be operative a proof of type or JSON type. So you, if you want to, uh, in uh, you want to consume the data with invalid uh, schema, uh, the consumer will fail. This is how Kafka the key schema registry and Kafka work together. So next, here I will explain how schema registry work in our KubeDB and how we are provisioning this in our uh, Kubernetes cluster. Okay. As schema registry is a custom resource definition, so user must have to apply schema registry custom resource. So when a user apply a schema registry custom resource, the provisional operator will watch the custom resource and create some necessary resource like service, secret, page set, which is equivalent to stateful set, you can say that. Okay. And now if you want to remove the custom resource from the Kubernetes, so you if you uh, there is pre and deletion policy for schema registry. If you set deletion policy to delete, uh, the schema registry or provisional operator will 
delete everything except necessary security uh, secret like authentication or TLS secret etc okay now deletion policy if you uh, set deletion policy to wipe out so the uh, if you delete the schema stc cr it will uh, delete everything it has created earlier okay the last one is do not terminate if you set this uh, if, if you cannot delete the schema stc cr you must have uh, delete or wipe out to delete the custom resource okay now to use our Kafka and Kafka schema registry, you must have installed kubedb in your Kubernetes cluster. To install uh, kubedb, use this helm, uh, simple helm, help command. So in our helm command, there is a must needed thing is license. So you can take the license in uh, to visit kubedb.com and you can take the license from there. Okay, now there will be a live demo. In our live demo, uh, I will create uh, Kafka cluster and schema, schema registry cluster and I will try to uh, produce some messages with uh, schema and I will want to produce, uh, consume the dead messages uh, with the schema registry. So, okay, let's go to our demo section. Here, we are going to create Kafka cluster first. Okay, Kafka cluster has been Create it. It is creating here. You can see that Kafka is now provisioning state, and it is it is creating a broker and controller. Here it has created also some secret and service. If you see that we are using this Kafka with two brokers and two controllers, with one GB of storage for each. So let's wait for Kafka to be ready. Now, after that, we will create the um, schema registry cluster in our schema registry you can see that like other resource it has also api version kind metadata and spec section in the spec section there is a field version the available version you will put here and the, in our cluster there will be two replicas and uh, there is a field named kafka app this is actually kafka app binding reference if you do not put this uh, the uh, schema registry will uh, ready with uh, schema will be stored in, in memory actually if you keep this uh, field the schema will be stored in kafka so deletion policy is wipe out so let's check the kafka is ready or not you can see that kafka is fully ready and is it's a resource now create our schema registry cluster okay created the schema registry cluster is now in provisioning mode. Why to be ready? It has two replicas. Uh, yes, two replicas is running now. Okay, let's ready. Okay, e schema is has two service actually. One for uh, inter port communication for schema registry, and other one is for uh, client uses or. Okay. Is now in position here. Okay, schema registry is now ready for to be served now. Okay, here we have created a small Java producer and consumer application. Here we have uh, produced some messages and consume that messages with uh, schema. Uh, this is our small project, and I am going to run this in the Kubernetes cluster and check. Uh, that um, produce and consumer work properly with schema registry or not okay uh, before creating the before creating the application let's create the topic first let's eject into one of the broker and create the topic what's the server is localhost 9092 Command config will be our config there. We'll produce some messages in our topic name, test topic. So creating that topic. Okay, topic creation successfully done. Now we're going to create the application. 
okay here is our application details here is some configuration uh, to produce or consume message we must need uh, our broker addresses and broker addresses and kafka username and password also and kafka security mechanisms and we also uh, give some uh, kafka registry well that we're schema registry well actually so we are producing a uh, message into our test topic so let's create the job first job has been created if you see the job uh, here is the job it's running now if you see the log of the job let's saw it we produce some messages I think it will fail because we have gave the wrong yes yeah, so it it will fail actually I have gave the wrong credential of our Kafka cluster the password must be replaced with this uh, latest Kafka password let's steal it and recreate it okay the job is running so again we can see the log of the job also we can consume messages from our terminal okay the job has been done and it is now in completed state so you can see that 100 messages has been produced successfully and 100 messages consumed successfully so we can also consume messages from our uh, broker let's consume the message from our terminal Our board step server is localhost 9092. Consumer config. Topic name is test topic. And we have to consume message from beginning. Okay. Now you can see that the message consumed from our application is this but here you can see that the consume message is not the same as the application consumed so different uh, between application and our console con consumer because of this in our application we have used oblo deserializer to deserialize the message from kafka topic here we use string deserializer to deserialize the message so uh, here we produce messages with uh, obro deserializer a uh, serializer and we also consume obro deserializer but here we are consume messages in string serializer so the serializer is not matched so here string is not uh, you can see that that uh, console message is not uh, the correct message format as we produced so we have message produce our message using schema registry and uh, this is successfully done i think Okay, this is our demo section has been done. Let's move on our next section. This is actually our Kafka schema list is here. Here you can see our Kafka upcoming feature. Upcoming feature, Kafka REST proxy. Kafka REST proxy actually uh, some RESTful APIs. It actually uh, produce or consume messages uh, using this RESTful APIs. Uh, you don't need to create any programming language based client here. So you can just uh, produce or consume messages using web client. So here, currently Kafka is running SSL plain mode. In our next releases, we will support add support for Kafka scrim login. And currently, in schema register uh, registry, we are using epicure registry 
and we will add support for Ivan in our next releases. Okay, I think our event has been done. If you have any question, you can ask us. Think there is no question. Thank you.